Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. And Rick and the team at Safeguard are here to help guide you. Uh, really, the Big Picture Blueprint is about your retirement. What are your hopes and dreams? How much income do you need? What about your investment strategies? Tax strategies moving forward health care, long-term care, legacy planning, Social Security, Medicare, it's all in the big picture blueprint. So really what it is, is where am I on that road to retirement? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the big questions that people have and the, kind of the general questions, I think you could say. But if you'd like to find out more about Rick and the team, it's safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Uh, you can always give them a call. There's no cost to chat with them. They're here to help if they can. 800-700-1980. 800 700 1980. Rick, welcome. Thank you, Mark. So we're going to talk about questions today that people have for retirement. And, you know, Rick, you think about it, you and your wife, you know, when you come home from work, what's for dinner? Now, maybe you're the one cooking sometimes. Do you cook? Yeah, you may, actually, I enjoy cooking. So yeah, I do cook quite a bit. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised by that. So hey, honey, what's for dinner? Hey, when's the meeting? How was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? Whatever, you know, the general questions that we ask, the answers are, for those are pretty simple, right? How was your day? Well, it was great. Ah, it wasn't so good. This happened. I didn't. It wasn't much fun. Whatever. Uh, those are pretty. The questions are simple. The answers typically are simple. The questions to retirement are basically simple. The answers can be a little bit more complicated. Do you buy that, Rick? Is that fair to say? Uh, that's totally fair to say. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are some of those questions that people should be thinking about and asking when they're getting closer to retirement? You know, I, I think that. Um typical questions that we get and some of the questions that, you know, they sh should be asking is, you know, when can I retire? Have I saved enough? Will my money actually last the rest of my life? And then of course, you know, will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? I think, I think those are, are, are some of the more popular ones. Yeah. And I would think those questions are basically everybody has those, you know, can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Have I saved enough? Will my money last? So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about those first two questions. When can I retire? Have I saved enough in this segment? Stay with us because in the next segment, we'll tackle the will my money last as long as I, as long as we needed to? And then will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? So that's how we're going to attack this. So, you know, that when can I retire? And I think probably it starts with can I retire? And then it's, well, when can I retire? And I think that probably comes back to your second question. Have I saved enough, I would suppose, because that one it just really kind of handles all the rest. If, I, if I've saved enough, I have a lot more options, but, but I don't really know probably as part of the challenge. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the, the big thing here is um, understanding when it, when it comes to, hey, when can I retire, is understanding where the sources of income are going to be coming from. The other thing that we have to discover and work on is what is the income I'm going to need when I retire? And now, and, and sometimes people are like, well, you know, I'm not quite sure. I don't know uh, what I'm going to need when I retire. We've been doing this for a long time. We have tools and strategies we can use uh, and questions that we can ask clients in order to help them kind of come up with a really good estimate as to what they're going to need in retirement years. And then we can start building a strategy around that as far as what they're going to need income wise. And then if there's any shortfalls, we can then put a strategy together to help uh, supplement those shortfalls. And then, of course, as we get closer to retirement, if we have to make some modifications to the plan, we can do that as opposed to them waiting, you know, the day before retirement to say, hey, Rick, can you help me out with this stuff? I would think that one of the challenges for today's retirees is that most workers don't have a pension. So now it is about income isn't it? 100%. And, and the sources of the income that it's going to be coming from. So you're right. It's getting, it's getting um, less and less popular that people have pensions because a lot of companies are doing away with the pensions. But if we're going to sit down with somebody and um, let's say you know each individual is going to have Social Security, if they're lucky enough to have a pension, great. We calculate that in. But if the gist of their income, let's say they don't have a pension, the most of their income is going to be coming off the investments 
then we're going to have to game plan that out. So it's one thing, you know, where, you know, I have somebody that, you know, maybe saved a hundred grand in their 401k plan, but they got $10,000 of income coming in and the bills are only $3,000 a month. Then the fact that they didn't save so much, okay, fine. You know, maybe they can get away with it because of pensions, but those that don't have pensions and they're relying on social security and relying on their savings, we definitely need to make sure that, that we have a, a game plan and you, you know, we just can't do things willy nilly. Absolutely. So you think about it. Have have I saved enough? Well, everybody probably does have a number, uh, but the old adage, oh, you need a million dollars to retire. There's certainly people Rick has sat down with a million dollars is not near enough. And there's definitely people he sat down with that a million dollars is, boy, that's extravagant. We don't need that much. Everybody's situation is unique. So when you're trying to figure out, can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Have I saved enough? Those are really great questions to try to have the answers to. Uh, and Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group are here to help. Again, you want to talk to them. Figure these questions out. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. There's no cost. There's no obligation to chat with the team. It's one of the great opportunities I think you have because it's complimentary to find out where you are. Whether you become a client or not of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group is kind of secondary. I think it's so important to find out where you are on that road to retirement. And Rick and the team are here to help. 800-700-1980. You know, not to me, Rick, you know, I'm 63 going on 64, which means here in a few months, I'm going to start getting all kinds of Medicare information because I can get that at 65. Do people still to this day go, you know what, I can get Social Security at 62, I'm going to retire then. Ooh, I get Medicare at 65. I'll retire then because a lot of people do have concerns about health care. Are the people still retire because Social Security is eligible? They're eligible at 62 and Medicare, they're at 65. Do they pick those days because of that? Yeah. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that because, you know, those people that are actually want to retire early, let's just say at 62 because they can collect uh, Social Security at 62, they have to factor in health care costs because obviously, you know, as you're talking about, Healthcare costs, premium costs for healthcare prior to 65 is dramatically different as opposed to once you reach 65 and you could qualify for Medicare. So the scenario here is I'll get clients that come in and then they realize, oh my God, Rick, you know what? It's going to cost me a thousand or twelve hundred or two thousand dollars for both my husband and I, you know, to, to cover a health insurance until 65. So now we have to come up with if they want to retire early, that can make a big difference whether they can or not. So if they do their planning early enough, we can sit down with them and say, hey, listen, you know what? Here's what we can strategize where if you do want to retire early prior to 65, that way there's no surprises for you. We know, hey, because we even work with a, a healthcare professional that can actually give us numbers and say, okay, here's exactly what your medical premiums are going to be each and every year prior to 65. So here's what we can do in order to cover that shortfall so you can enjoy retirement. You don't have to stress. And then when 65 occurs, now we can you know, change the game plan a little bit because now we know your premium costs are going to go down and, and we can offset rather than them just coming right up on that date, decide, hey, I, I want to retire. And then they finally realize, hey, wait a minute. You know, I, I didn't realize my premium costs were going to be as high as they're, they're going to be. Maybe now I got to hold out till 65 before I can retire. So that's that's actually a very important question that you ask. And we run across it quite a bit. So here's another question I would I would think is kind of interesting that you probably do run across a little bit of this. Do most people that come in and sit down with you and Reed and Eddie at, at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, do most feel like they will spend less or because of the bucket list movie, uh, where people all have big dreams, they're going, well, we're going to spend a lot more probably in the first five or 10 years of retirement. Is it one way or the other? You know, I think for some reason, if I was to kind of gauge it, I would say probably most people think they're going to spend less. However, what they're finding out once they retire and they start getting settled into retirement, they realize that they're spending, in some cases, just as much while they were working because of now travel costs and, and other things that they have going on, just depending upon what some of their objectives are. And then maybe now they're spending more time with the grandkids. So now because they're spending more time with the grandkids, there's more expenses there because now they're doing things with the grandkids, maybe taking them to Disneyland, maybe traveling, maybe going to visit the grandkids and doing all these extra activities that they weren't 
quite expecting they were going to do, or maybe it was just in the back of the mind and they didn't, and they didn't realize the costs involved. But fortunately for us, we know that whenever we sit down with somebody and they give us a certain game plan, we know that when they retire, they're going to have to settle in and really truly find out where the numbers are going to be. So when we design plans, we design enough flexibility in the plan that if they give us one number, we know, hey, we better you know have a little extra hedge here just in case they end up spending more or you know if they end up spending less okay fine you know no big deal and that's one of the things about our plan is we can share experiences our own clients have seen we can you know with these new retirees saying hey here's some situations that retirees run into and then we can kind of plan for what we see most common in, in their situation yeah, and that makes perfect sense. So Rick and the team, I mean, the, the company started, Safeguard Investment Advisory Group started in 2008. But Rick, Reed, Eddie, they've all got 20 plus years of experience in the financial world. They've seen a lot and they've retired a lot, even though they're not retired because they sit down with people just like you that are getting ready to retire. And so you think about that. Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Well, then it kind of follows up with, well, have I saved enough to retire now, year, three, five down the road. I'm already retired. I'm not sure I'm in a good spot. There's so many moving parts here that Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group are here to help guide you. And because of that, there are so many questions that we have. We're talking about the big questions about retirement. If you would like more information, all you have to do is text this number, 951-667-4969, 951-667-4969, and text the word toolkit. So the toolkit that Safeguard will send out to you has retirement guides, Social Security, taxes, you know, those recession, what's going to happen, all those kind of things, uh, the checklist for retirement. But it also includes Reed's webinar, 30-minute webinar, that's included, and that's part of the, the, the presentation they make at some events that they do uh, for existing clients, but also pre, per, you know prospective clients, if you will. If you would like this toolkit to kind of give you a little bit more information about retirement, Text the word TOOLKIT to 951-667-4969, 951-667-4969, and then the subject line, just put TOOLKIT, 951-667-4969, just text the word TOOLKIT. All right, we're going to tackle those other big questions. Will my money last? Will my loved ones be okay? If something happens to me, and we come back right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You're listening to The Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to The Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can find out more about Rick, Reed, Eddie, and the team. Safeguardinvestment.com. Uh, five offices all in California. Rick's office located in uh, Corona. But it's safeguardinvestment.com. Safeguardinvestment.com. You want to chat with them? Hey, you know, I'm getting closer to retirement. I'm, I think I'm okay. I just don't know. Well, why not find out? 800-700-1980. There's no cost for this. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. The team is here to help if they can. They don't know if they can help you until you reach out. It's 800-700-1980. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us. We're talking about those big questions, right? Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Have I saved enough? And everybody's have I saved enough number is different. Everybody's situation is unique. The other two questions, we talked about those in the last segment. We're going to talk about the next two. Will my money last? It's always been a big concern. Well, I don't want to run out of money before I run out of life. We don't want to run out of money before we run out of life, right? So will our money last? And then will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? Do you still get that as one of the big questions? Boy, Rick, I'm really concerned about running out of money before I run out of life. 100%. 100%. Because, you know, it's one thing to win the comfortable retirement. It's another thing to maintain it throughout retirement from this standpoint, Mark. You know, Back in the day, let's face it, you know, life expectancies were, were much shorter when Social Security first came about. Maybe somebody was lucky to make it to 70. So inflation and all those different things were not a huge concern. But now that people are living 20, in some cases, 30 years into retirement, it's very scary for many retirees. And they want the confidence to know, hey, the money I have saved up, is this going to last? 
Another scary question is, hey, what if Social Security isn't around anymore? You know, what am I going to do to make that up? Or God forbid, you know, one spouse predeceases the other and I lose a Social Security check. How do I make up that shortfall? Is that going to eat into my retirement? Or medical costs. That's another big popular topic nowadays where, you know, is healthcare going to, you know, maybe I won the comfortable retirement and everything's all hunky dory, but now it gets eat up, eaten up by long term care costs. You know, at $12,000 a month, you know, that can go through a savings real quickly. So absolutely, that's becoming more and more of a, a popular topic for sure. Yeah. And I think the old comedian, Henny Youngman said, yeah, I sat down with my financial advisor and they said, I'm going to be good to go in retirement, especially if I passed away later today. <laughs> I have enough money. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, everybody's situation is different. That's for sure. But you know, you think about it, longevity, how long we're here. I mean, are we both going to live to a hundred, pass away in our sleep? That would be great. Probably not going to happen. So there's a lot of moving parts, longevity, health care, because we know the number one reason that people that are working have to file for bankruptcy and those that are retired file for bankruptcy is they didn't have a plan for health care situations. There, it's crazy. The, the health care, we, we, even when we weren't talking about inflation, the medical industry's health uh, inflation was out of control anyway, and it's still continuing. So those are two big things in making sure your money lasts. I wonder, too, making our money last is having – you know, you think about building that financial house starts with a foundation where you have safe and protected income. Social Security certainly being one pension if you're lucky enough to have it. But the pensions being gone is probably put a little bit more stress on our money lasting, probably. Oh, 100 percent. And, you know, here's the thing that, that that we do for clients or maybe some you know listeners that are listening to the show right now and they're like, hey, you know what? I'd like to get a second opinion on my stuff or I just want to get it reviewed. I feel like I'm doing OK, but. I just want a second opinion. We get people that just meet us for the first time and just and just want to say, hey, I just want you to look over everything. I think things are good, but I just want to double check. And we have a way of stress testing the portfolio or stress testing your retirement, I should say, because there's more to retirement planning and making sure this money lasts than just the investments alone. There's other areas that we look at. We have a way where we can stress test it where you know we can say, hey, if the worst case scenario happens, are you going to be okay? And if the portfolio is set up for that, then great. We don't need to worry about the best case scenario. If the market keeps continuing to run and inflation stays low and interest you know rates stay high and CDs and everything's all hungry, we don't need to worry about that. We know you're going to be okay under that environment. But the best thing to do is to you know bring it in or have some advisor actually stress test that uh, retirement plan for you and share experiences that you may incur in retirement. And if your portfolio is set up perfectly, great. If there's some areas that we can point out that, hey, listen, hey, you know what? There's some areas here that I realize I may want to improve upon or address. Well, then great. At least you have the information now. You're educated and you can decide if you want to implement those strategies rather than waiting for the worst case scenario to happen. And then you're now you're behind the eight ball and you're like, oh, my God, what do I need to do now? And it's too late. So very important to get that uh, stress tested. And the stress test, there's no cost for that. I mean, Rick and the team are here to help you figure out where you are on that road to retirement. It's 800-700-1980. We're taking too much risk, the right amount of risk. What happens if there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to our retirement, but it's about you. How can they help and maybe ease some of that stress, right? Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? Will my money last? Well, longevity, healthcare, there's all kinds of situations that can pop up that can cause you issues. We all have heard it, right? We plan and then God laughs, right? Things are going to happen. You need a plan. 800-700-1980. And Rick said a second opinion. For a lot of you, it would be a first opinion. You've, you've put your head down, gone to work, you got 401ks and the like, and you've really just put your head down. And then at the end of the day, you look at it and go, wow, I think I've done a pretty good job. I think I'm good to go. But you don't really know yet. Call the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. 800 800- 700 1980 800 700 1980 that last big question rick will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me it's not something that we want to talk about but it, i mean there's a lot of scenarios a lot of things can happen when you do lose a spouse isn't there 100 percent. and you know when you say my loved ones you know it could be everything from my spouse where like you know we we're mentioning earlier god forbid one spouse predeceases the other we may lose a social security check pensions get cut. How do we make up that shortfall? Unfortunately, many people don't even think about it, don't really plan for it. 
they just assume, oh, well, you know what? My spouse will just sell the home and downsize. Do they really want to do that? You know, I, I, why add that extra stress? If there's a plan that can be implemented to be able to offset that, to give your, your the, the surviving spouse some options, because they're going to be dealing with enough stress, you know, due to the death that, you know, they shouldn't have to be forced to have to sell or downsize or all, all the rest of it, or have to make cuts in their standard of living. So there's strategies we can show you to help offset that. The other thing too, that some clients, you know, again, making sure that there's enough money for the loved ones. Some of the radio listeners right now, I'm sure, you know, may have maybe a special needs child or a special needs family member, and they want to make sure they can maximize what they're going to leave to that uh, child without interfering with maybe some of the governmental subsidies that they're receiving. So, you know, we have to plan for that. We have other clients that, you know, maybe they, that they're concerned about having um, a spendthrift clause for, for one of the children. They're like, hey, listen, you know what? This particular child needs to be taken care of, but I know that if they get all the money all at one time, they're going to blow it. So what do I do in order to make sure that they're going to be okay, but I don't want them to have full control because they're going to blow it all at once. And then another level that comes in there is, hey, listen, when it comes to your IRAs and, 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 and some of these different things, the 401ks and all that, when they receive these monies, you know, there's taxes due on that. So what's the best way for them to receive it? What's the best way for them to inherit this money? So that way they can minimize the taxes uh, for the beneficiaries as well. So, so there's all these different efficiency strategies we can use to make sure, hey, listen, something happens, the surviving spouse is going to be okay, the kids are going to be okay. And quite frankly, if you're in a scenario where your kids are totally fine, they're making a bunch of money, then whatever's left over, of course, we just want to make sure it goes them as efficiently as possible. So at the end of the day, it is about you and your situation. What do you need? What do you want out of retirement? Or where are you? Can I retire? When? Do I have enough? Will my money last? Will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? 800-700-1980. And here's something that Rick says he will do for you. You come in and chat with him. There's no cost. He is pretty confident that he'll be able to give you two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. Two ideas to help you just for talking with him. 800-700-1980. Again, is the number 800-700-1980. Rick, as always, enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll do it again next week. Great. Thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.